let's create our first assignment where students will do their work in a GitHub repository. I'll click create your first assignment. I'll give this assignment a title. We can set a deadline, which students will see when they accept the assignment. We'll make this assignment an individual assignment. We can choose to leave repository visibility set to private so that students cannot share their work with other students or developers. Or we can set repository visibility to public so that students can share their work and collaborate with other students or developers. When students accept their assignments, their assignment repository will be either public or private based on this setting. We can choose whether to grant students admin access to their repository. If students will need to add their own CI tools or add other collaborators or make settings changes in their repositories, we will want to grant them admin access to their repositories. If we don't want students making any accidental settings changes, then we will not check to grant admin access to their repository. I'll leave this box unchecked for now. Next, we can add starter code to our assignment. Let's take a look at an example starter code repository. In this repository, we have a simple node application. In the README for the repository, we can see that the assignment is to return a string that will make the test pass. If we look at the hello.test.js file, we can see that tests will pass when the output in the hello.js file is hello world. Back on the front page of this repository, we can see that this is a template repository because there is a template label next to the name of the repository. Template repositories are GitHub's way of copying boilerplate files and directories. So this repository will copy more quickly when students accept their assignments and copy the code for their own repository. Keep in mind, a template repository will not copy the version control history of the original repository. We can set any repository we own to a template repository under that repository's settings. Back in GitHub Classroom, we'll click Select a Repository, and as we type in the name of our Education Auto Grading Example Node repository, it should show up in the list below. We'll choose template repository as our import method. If we're using a repository where we don't have access to change the settings, or if we want to copy over the version control history, we can use source importer. But keep in mind, these repositories may be slower to copy when the students accept their assignments. We can choose whether to allow students to use an online IDE to complete their work. For this example, we'll leave the default setting. Here we can add our auto grading test. We saw our example starter code is a node application that includes a test file. I can click add test and run node. Here we have a pre-filled test form and we only need to give our test a name. We can set a timeout value and a points value for this simple assignment. So I'll set the points to five and click Save Test Case. We can add another test using Run command. So if the language we're using in our starter code is not listed here, Run command will give us a blank test form that we can complete. I can give this test a name. And if our test were a Rails test, for example, our setup command might be bundle install and our run command might be Rails test. We could save this test case. Our third way of adding a test is an input output test. I can give this test a name, add our setup command, 
and a run command. And then I can add a list of inputs and expected outputs. If I input my name, Aurelia, the expected output would be, hello, Aurelia. Or if I input lowercase world, the expected output would be, hello, lowercase world. We can add a corresponding list of inputs and outputs, and then we can decide how to compare them. With an included comparison, I'm looking for the output anywhere within what is returned from running the application. With an exact output, I'm looking for exactly hello Aurelia or exactly hello world to be output. Or I can use a regular expression to describe the output that I'm looking for. I can set the timeout value for this test and give it a points value. I'll save this test case. Let's revisit our first test. Here I set the timeout value to five. That's because I know our test should take approximately 30 seconds to run. So I don't need to set the timeout for much higher than that. I also want to consider that a student might write an infinite loop that would cause a test to run forever. So I want to limit the amount of time a test will run. My auto grading test will run against my monthly allocation of GitHub Actions Minutes. Teachers who are approved for GitHub Education Benefits receive extra Actions Minutes on their organizations by upgrading their organizations to the GitHub Team Plan. You can automatically upgrade your organization for free from the GitHub Teacher Toolbox. Education Benefits are not required to use GitHub Classroom, but it may be useful to have the extra Actions Minutes. I'll save this test case and delete our extra tests. Last, we can choose whether to enable a feedback pull request. This will automatically open a pull request when the student accepts their assignment. And in that pull request, we can give direct feedback line by line on the student's changed code. I'll click Create Assignment. We see that our assignment is ready and we have a URL that we can copy and share with our students.